What is up, Alfonso Nation? It's Alfonso Mahana, Y'all, today is like a great day. I mean, like the birds are chirping, the frogs are leaping, the 12 drummers are drumming. Guys, today I am going to make our world a better place. I'm going to make everything so much better. And I think it's going to be perfect the way I'm going to do it. I am not Liam Neeson. I am not Nicholas Telsa. I am not Nestle Pure Life. I am Alfonso Peterman, goddammit. And I'm going to make this world better. I'm going to change the world for the better. Me, myself, and I. I stopped the landing. I stopped the landing. I am so incredibly excited because today we have found something that's the holy grail for the world. I am going to tell you exactly what I found. I found another piece of the collector's piece. One of the most iconic members of the Transformers community. I am telling you right now, you, you do not want to miss this. This is going to be incredible. This is going to be iconic. And if you miss it, then you will be eviscerated. Today I found something, actually it wasn't even today, it was yesterday I found something and I went to the store, you know, typical thing, just like every time, never expected to see a damn thing. But then when I went to the toy section, okay, because I always do that because I'm an inner child, okay, do not judge, I found something that was so amazing and so incredible. I found... Guys, I found the Metals figure for Transformers The Last K and I G H T. And I am so incredibly glad I found this. Here's the thing though. I, you know, these things were not even in the Transformers section. Like they were actually in disguise. You know what I'm saying? I went to the toy section. I went to the cars aisle where they had all the cars and 18 wheelers and stuff. I found my boy Bumblebee hiding in plain sight. Like, 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 why are you trying to hide in plain sight? You know, I'm gonna find you either way, home skillet. I'm gonna pull up to your hood. This is Bumble of the Bee. And he was not expensive. He was like, what was he, like $12? It was probably like 12 yeah, no, 12 20 something. He was not over $25. And it was great. And so it's another metal figure. I love the signs. And today we're going to unbox him. All right, are we going to not run that map yet? So this is what I found, guys. Check him out. Look how beautiful it is. And you can also see my eyes in the middle of the plastic. You see my eyes? You see my eyes there? I hope you did because because they were there. So let's do the box. The box, as you can see, beautiful packaging. Freaking Bumblebee Transformers badge. Freaking, it tells you about, you know, like the underside of him because you can see like his body mode, which is slow, like incredibly savage. You got the metals logo right here. Oh my God, you have an incredible bad glare. Don't be a glare, okay? There's the Bumblebee name right here. And then on the other side, guys, you have like the literal like picture and you can see his ass right there. So, so awesome. And on the back, Oh my god. You literally have like every single character you can collect. Like, like they duplicated it. Like you got Prime, Barricade, B, Hot Rod, and Crossy, right? But then that's that's all you can collect. They duplicated this, these two rows right here. For what? Because it's a long box, I guess. But I mean, you could have put a nice picture of Bumblebee. You could have put something else, but two of the same guy. Okay. So that's what they did. So now there's a very redundant row of Transformers medals collecting figure stuff and shit. And over here, you got just, you know, the same branding and titles and under you have nothing. So today, I'm going to unbox this bad boy and you're going to watch. <laughs> It's going to be incredible. Hello? Hello? I'm gonna have to ask for you to open, sir. Hello? Hello? <laughs> the Camaro, boys! The Camaro! Oh my goodness! Like, look at this guy right here. Guy's like, coolie crap, right? Another metal figure. Like, oh my god. Look at how he looks, guys. Isn't that incredible? That looks like so freaking movie accurate. Like, I am shooketh. Like, I cannot believe how well they did this. Okay, I'm gonna take the rest of the packaging off so we can get a raw look 
at this classy chassis. <laughs> All right. I am trying so hard to not like scratch his paint because you know, he can get mad and transform and kill my ass. So I'm gonna try to make sure that doesn't happen. Guys, I have gotten Bumblebee freed from his slavery. He has came out of the closet and he is a liberated vehicle as you can see. Oh my god. Can we just take a moment to just express how beautiful he is? I'm sorry. He's everything that our lives wanted. He is what we need in this world. <laughs> oh my god, guys, look at this. Like, this is the definition of beautiful. Like, I don't even understand. Does the hood come? <gasps> the hood comes up, guys. You can see the legit classy chassis. You can see the engine. Why does not I Hold on, I have questions. I don't understand what's going on here. Why doesn't Optimus Prime do any of this stuff? Like, he's supposed to be the hot shot. He's supposed to be the big dog. But Bumblebee's doing everything. The doors open. Freaking look at this thing, guys. Doors open. You can see the interior of the vehicle. You can see my eye in between the car. You see me there? You see, <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see me there? Does the trunk open? I swear, if the trunk opens, I'm gonna be so mad. Because Optimus doesn't do any of this. His hood does not open. But then again, he's an 18-wheeler. He doesn't have a trunk. But there's more things that they could have made him do. I mean, come on. I mean, uh... The trunk freaking opens, guys. You could put a freaking... You could put so much... You could... I mean, look at this. Every part of this vehicle opens. And I'm pretty sure that's how it is with Crossy and with Hot Rod and Barricade. Because they're actual, like, vehicles. Prime is like a custom 18-wheeler type thing, so he probably wouldn't do that. But look at this, man. Look at the paint job. Like, hey. What I love the most about Bumblebee's look of uh, The Last Night is the hood and, like, the top of the car. It has that beautiful, like, almost like this mesh material. Not mesh, but it has a pattern, like a little uh, metallic mesh pattern. It's, I, I just love the gray on top of there it's 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 to me it's better than the black stripes because it just it just adds more more elegance to the oh like the overall look of the vehicle and you can even see the detail inside of the wheels you can see if I can angle it right you could see see the red right there there's red and there's silver in between the wheels to um, show off the wheels the wheels are made of rubber like oh my gosh not plastic and of course look at this guys i actually get to show y'all the underside of him because you know for the optimus prime's unboxing i didn't have the tools well today i have the tools so look at that like this is beautiful this is bumblebee at his finest the last night and he rose like a charm. I'm gonna do a comparison right after I review this coin that it comes with. Like, this is the part I'm like really jealous about. Because even though Optimus Prime can't have a like, you know, like a back trunk that he can open or any of that, you can at least give him a coin. I mean, give him a coin. He is the last Prime. Give him a coin. He didn't come with a coin. So this is what comes with Bumblebee, which is basically this here. It's his beautiful like, a perfect model of his face with his name and some like metallic designs on the edges but this is actually my favorite part right here this is exceptional this thing has the Autobot logo with the term Autobots on the top and Transformers the last night and the date at the bottom and at the very very bottom I'm not sure if you can see that but it has the uh, the copyright Paramount Hasbro Corporation type thing it says 2016 Hasbro and has. It says t <laughs> it says 2016 Hasbro and Paramount Pictures Corporation. So they have the uh, little copyright thing there. But what I like about this though is that you can take this side, and it comes with this little like this little display piece where you could just like hook it onto it. So you can hook on. Okay, you can hook on this side, 
with Bumblebee next to him. Or you can hook up this with the Autobots, so it's reversible. So I could technically still use this with Optimus Prime. Matter of fact, I can use this coin with all of the, well, not Barricade, because, you know, he never had the best role models. <laughs> but I think, like, you can put him with all the other Autobots that you can collect with the medals, which is so cool. So this is just, an, it's like a general Autobot medal. So enough with that. That's cool. I love it, and I'm definitely going to display that. Let's compare him. It's iconic on every level, like every level possible. Putting these two together, oh my god. This is literally the end of the last night. Like this is... Da, 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 da. Oh, I, I just love this. I love having a Bumblebee vehicle next to the Prime vehicle. That's the classic Transformers appearance. In terms of comparisons, size-wise, there is a difference, and I like how Bumblebee is not exactly the same size as Prime because he's supposed to be scaled smaller because he's a Camaro and Prime's a huge, like, Western Star big rig 18-wheeler truck. So that is the comparison. This is the hoods. Beautiful hoods. Look at that, man. This is so, like, amazing. These Meadows figures is, like, the Prime 1 studio of the alt modes of these Transformers, and here's the back sides of them. Um... Got Optimus Prime's 18 wheeler and you got B's trunk. And I'll just do a, a side comparison. I can't get them both in frame like that. There we go. And that's how they look. Beautiful. I mean, like, just gorgeous. Like, oh my god. This is perfect. Um, and I didn't get to show you guys the, the back side of the, uh, the underside of Optimus because for the review, I didn't have the tool. But just to show y'all. That's what Optimus looks like. Now that is sexy, boy. Yeah, Big Prime! All about logo, classic. And so I'm gonna compare the undersides of them. Look at that. Like, look at this. This is just perfect. So that's all I could really compare. That's all I could really do. I mean, it's just the alt modes. Now, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna compare him with the normal one to show you how, how big he really is. This is the normal Optimus Prime, the smaller guy, and this is Bumblebee. Like, look at the size. Like, I mean, like, look at it. <laughs> like, I think this is incredible. I like the larger figures, the larger metals collector figures. I love the Autobot logo on the side. I love the Autobot logo on the underside. And, oh, wow, his license plate actually says, Trans I'm not sure if you can see that, Transformers The Last Night. That's his license plate. And any other details that I'm missing? Anything else? Uh, he's a 1 uh, 1 slash 24 2016 Chevy Camaro. So I think that is pretty much it. Because there's nothing really else. Nothing really else. There's nothing else really <laughs> to really say about him. I do like the interior. I like how there's actually design in the interior of the vehicle. That's beautiful. And if y'all want to check out where y'all can get this stuff is not expensive like at all. It's under 25 bucks. And so if you want to get you an Optimus Prime, I got a link to my Amazon uh, listing, like an Amazon listing. And I also have a link to the Bumblebee one if you want to get one for him. And if you want to get the smaller ones too, I have those links also below. At least click the links and check it out. Because you never know, you might just tell yourself, you know what, I don't want to get me one, just like Alfonso. So yeah, guys, check the links in the description box below. Please just check them out. Because this is just like perfect display pieces for the perfect Transformers fan. And if you're really a fan, you're going to check it out. Anyways, guys. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, so that way you can keep, in, uh, keep a close eye on everything I post, everything I upload. And that is all. Then, and, wow. And that is all for today. My name is Alfonso, and I will see you guys in my next video. Au revoir, peace out, home skilly biscuit. Goodbye.